good morning beautiful people we are leaving Lucky Leo now because I have an emergency as I mentioned you before I don't know what it is but we prefer to go to an hospital and check with a doctor yeah I will what bring is... Sarah to an hospital uh, so uh, a real doctor uh, can check her eye because uh, it should be gone uh, since uh, three days uh, yeah. And it's not going away with the antibiotic, so something uh, it's not good. I thought it was a sty in the eye, but I think it's getting worse. I read that there is another disease similar, another infection similar to the Rosuelo, to the sty, that is called uh, Calatio. Calatium, here in it's Chalatio. Let's see, let's check and we'll catch you at the hospital. We will let you know also how hospitals are here in Ecuador. Yes, this is the main reason we would like to show you and to share with you this video to see how it is to yeah, be like, uh, we... a tourist and just to have an emergency yes yeah, no, it's not a life-threatening emergency no, fortunately it's dying. just something in a high but uh, eyes for ours are really important as everyone and then if you don't <laughs> cure in the right way it's it's dangerous, it's dangerous. you can lose uh, your eyes so we want to be sure and uh, safety first. Uh, since we start from Alaska to Argentina, this is the second time. Uh, the yes. first time was in uh, in Baja California. I turned my ankle. This is the second time there's something happening. For so us. and I did the LASIK operation in my eyes. So my eyes are really sensible. I don't want to, you know, cause any damage to my eyes. Since we wanted to start this trip without wearing glasses, uh, Sara made this operation. Uh, and, and it's a life changer especially when you travel in case of emergency if you need to run if in case you need to see good i wanted to be free of the glasses yes okay but now let's go to the hospital okay ciao guys ciao okay so sarah's eye is getting worse so we came to the hospital to, so a doctor can check uh, what's going on. We will let you know as soon as we know something. waiting for do you want to show doctor. your eye I don't know if you can see anything show the other one <laughs> hey guys the first doctor came and he just said that I have a, is a sty and plus I have an infection that's the sty it should be a gun after three four days now it's one week that i have this and now we are waiting for the ophthalmologist that is coming here in 20 minutes he will decide that if i need an operation to cut um, the cysti the, the this red little bow to let the secretion go away let go because it's everything is in, inside you know update it's not a sty, it was a sty now, it's a calatio, chalatio, calatium, it's like a cyst. And they cannot operate, they cannot make any surgery right now because it's it's not at the end. You need to wait that the calatio, the cyst will arrive at the end. It could be 14 days, could be 28 days, could be more. And then uh, Yeah, you have to wait to the infection or to be infection to be completely gone. Now I will change, they will give me another um, treatment that is the one that I asked for since the beginning it is like uh, not um, drops but it's something to put in the eyes Like a cream yeah, Like a cream, like a, yeah, an oil that you put in the eye during the night So let's see, let's start with this I need to apply hot tea or hot uh, manzanilla as chamomile at least three times a day and then make a massage to drain you know, it's like a drainage everything should go away from my eye 
Ready to pay. It's time to pay now, so we don't know how much it will be, but uh, we are really, really, really happy with the service that they have given us. So that's really, really cool. Okay. So. How much is it? It's $64.89. Perfect. We are really, really, really impressed. impressed. Uh, really impressed. In less than one hour, I receive a treatment that I never received before in any hospital. It's incredible, like uh, how clean, uh, how organized, uh, how the people here, like, it's amazing. The service. It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing. And, and, it's and we had this, Sarah had this problem to the eye, but. Imagine if it will be like a life threatening or real emergency. Uh, Situation. Situation. You come here and and we have an insurance, a really good insurance, and we were happy with the insurance. We, so yeah, really, we are really happy because I brought this morning to the insurance an email, and they answered me like ten minutes later, saying me suggest me this hospital. Uh, we have an excess of seventy dollars, so I already opened a claim. But in this case, we didn't use it because it was less than seventy dollars for a private uh, visit for a private exam. Yeah, wow. for the quality of the service we we received, uh, we actually thought that would be at least three hundred dollars uh, because it was really everything uh, luxury in this if hospital. You, if you go in an hospital like this in Italy, you will pay at least three hundred, four hundred uh, US uh, euro. And for yeah, the service for the you service. got. So we, we opened the claim because we thought it would be more expensive than $70, but we will not use it. So we are really happy with the, our insurance. You have the possibility to write an email and it's really fast or to call reverse charge call. So you can call for free actually. And we have experience with other insurances in, in the yeah, past. Yeah, we are traveling since several years. So yeah. we had many insurances. And uh, last year, for example, we were in Baja California. I turned my ankle really, really badly. Just to call the insurance, I spent 70 euros. That we had to call in Italy. Yeah and uh, was Just really to receive the information for the right procedure you know because every time with the insurance you don't know you don't know how to do where to go what is the best hospital if you can go in any uh, to any doctors so just to call and to receive the information what should i do we spend 70 dollars in this case here in ecuador with this new insurance if you want to check the insurance please see the description in the box below our video what's the name the word nomads so now we are Digital, using yeah. uh, Word Nomads uh, insurance. Uh, it's really cool. You can do everything online. Uh, we made it basically online. No matter what country you are, yeah. you just fill up all the things that uh, you pay online. In, uh, for us, uh, it's the best way because we never know where we are. We are always traveling. Uh, so it was the best option. And uh, I have to say we are really happy with, uh, with it. Uh, but really, congratulations to this hospital because yes. I felt so safe. I felt so we have the time we enter in the hospital we have the time when we finish paying 12 39 and that was dismissed 12, uh, 1 31 less than one hour less for than. everything and never happen in our lives i never, used to never, i used never. to race with motorcycles i break so many bones uh, i went to the hospital so many times and i always had to wait at least three hours four hours uh, five hours, seven hours before getting out of the hospital. Approved guys, really. Well done, don't good be, job. Don't be afraid to go to the hospital when you are in another country, especially in South America. Just make or... an insurance before because yeah. 
for us it's today is nothing uh, really uh, extremely expensive but if she has to do a surgery or that something could be. this is not, nothing that we we cannot know now but we we need to wait 7 14 days probably I need to make a surgery I hope not <laughs> I need to rest my eyes and stay yeah and always wear uh, glasses Sunglasses. so guys sorry I, I don't know it's not uh, cool it's not polite uh, educate to wear sunglasses when you speak with person and I love you guys so but you know now why okay I like to go take an uber that uber is really cheap taxi are really cheap now here we pay from the mechanic to here that was a good half an hour three dollars yeah so in Italy we would pay for that 20 25 euro yes at least with a taxi and an uber as well so guys uh, <laughs> Let's go back to the base camp. The future we will be doing a van life in Italy for sure. So for stay sure. tuned. What do you think about us making van life in Italy and showing you all the beauties, all the tradition, all the culture, making recipe, making everything in Italy? What do you think about this? Or where we should go after stuff? If we reach Argentina. Yeah, where if we, we are go? able to finish uh, the Pan American Highway and uh, get to Ushuaia, to Argentina and finish the Americas. Where do you think we Where should go? Where do you want us to see? Let us know in the comments, it would be interesting. 40 años más o menos. This yellow building you just saw here, it's uh, Plaza de Toros, uh, is where they used to do these uh, corridas with the bulls. Uh, but uh, the last president, uh, he took off uh, this uh, cultural thing. Uh, so in Spain, uh, I think they're still doing it, uh, but uh, there is a lot of pain for the bulls, so here they are not doing it anymore. That building was built around 40 years ago and um, now it's just uh, they use it to do some uh, festivals, uh, some shows. Uh. I just took all these pieces in part uh, and I wash it uh, with a grease uh, remover and I wash it all and I saw that is, there is a lot of rust uh, so my idea is uh, to, to paint it and make it all new I just need to buy a black matte uh, uh, paint uh, that it's good for high temperatures uh, because we use this to cook Guys, I would like to show today an Italian recipe something that we used to to eat a lot in Italy and it's called vitello tonnato vitello tonne, it's wheel with tuna sauce and yesterday we made sancocho we cook in our pressure cooker the soup and we cook together this piece of cow meat the secret ingredients is uh, mayonnaise together with tuna fish now I will, I will cut uh, this meat and then you put the, the sauce on the, the meat. This delicious Italian typical food and this special Luca can approve. Sorry, I, in your area. Yeah, in my area, my mother, she does it every year uh, when we are in Christmas. Now is a few years, uh, we will not be Christmas uh, back home in Italy with my family. But every year at, um, at Christmas, she does a lot of uh, vitello tonnato. I love it, I eat it a lot. So now we are doing it in a kind of way that is not the real way. Yeah. When we will be back in Italy, I will show you and I will ask my mother to do it. Or your grandmother. Or my grandmother, mother. yes. Uh, and we will do a lot of videos about the cooking, about Italian food, if you like. We, we can do that when we will be back in Italy. This is just uh, to taste the feeling uh, back Yeah, home. because some of you are asking us uh, to make Italian recipe on the road, but it actually is so difficult because of the ingredients. It's impossible <laughs> to find the ingredients uh, here on the road. Uh, now we, we are in Ecuador. We can do bruschetta, we can do pizza, but will not be the same, you know, taste, will not be the same ingredients uh, than that we have in Italy, of course, like in every other country. So this is kind of a van life vitel tonne, vitello tonnato version of fish together with meat, together with mayonnaise hmm. no, actually this is delicious, it's delicious. Uh, I love it guys try it, it, even if you don't have the right ingredients this is the first time we will, we are trying 
a lechuga crespa hidroponica. It means like a hydroponic salad. It means that it grows without being in the soil. So they, it's just in the water and they add minerals. It has contact with the cultivo aereo. It's an aerial cultivation. I think it's great. I don't know. Probably it's the future. Let's try. It would be better to have like slices that are thinner than this one. And then you put just the sauce on the top. We're doing our best with what, with what we have. Like always. This is the way, guys. Doing what you can with what you have. Yeah, because it's the difference between doing something and <laughs> don't doing it, you know? Yeah, correct. If you do it with your, what you have, uh, at least you do it. Uh, if you just wait uh, to have everything yeah. perfect, uh, right. you will probably never do it. Uh. So we are I the guys who do it. Then, you know that I love olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil <laughs> for everything, for every dishes. Okay, I will taste it. You are the judge, Luca. It's the moment, guys. Mm. Not hundred percent convinced. Good. Okay, yeah, it's not perfect, uh, of course, but uh, it's good. Uh, I, I, I definitely will eat it. This all, I will eat it because uh, it's okay. It, it's okay. It's good. Uh, of course, uh, when we will be in Italy, we will do it better. But uh, I love it for uh, for being in Ecuador uh, and being what with the resources we have. Uh, this is perfect. And the first time that we are doing it. First time, we yes. We never did it yeah. before. No. Just because we have this this meat that we don't want to eat in the soup because it's quite warm today. Yeah, as you can see. I have this idea sometimes, you know. Yeah. You can see it. 26, uh, 79. Buon proveccio. Buon proveccio. Please give us a thumbs up if you like the video and consider to subscribe to our channel. And stay tuned because we are going on an adventure and you will discover in the next video.